Toyota has introduced an ammonia engine with the potential to transform the entire automotive industry. For years, Toyota has been striving to carve a place in the electric vehicle market. Even though it entered late, the company faced criticism from investors and environmental groups due to its slow adoption of electric vehicle technology. Toyota managed to introduce three distinct electric vehicle models. Regrettably, out of the millions of electric vehicles sold globally, Toyota's sales barely reached 25,000 units. Despite its long-standing reign as the leader in the internal combustion engine segment for over five years, nevertheless, Toyota remains committed to preserving internal combustion engine vehicles by advancing alternative technologies, such as hydrogen and ammonia fuels, to support both existing and forthcoming internal combustion engine vehicles. Guangzhou Automobile Group Co., popularly known as GAC, a Chinese automaker, has partnered with Toyota to develop the world's first passenger car engine powered by liquid ammonia. This innovative technology serves as a sustainable alternative to traditional gasoline and fossil fuels. Remarkably, this ammonia-based engine does not emit harmful carbon dioxide in stark contrast to conventional gasoline or diesel engines. This development adds a significant contribution to the array of emerging energy solutions, such as battery electric vehicles and hydrogen-powered vehicles designed to reduce carbon emissions in the automotive industry. GAC and Toyota have maintained a strong partnership since September 1, 2004. Through this joint venture, they have collectively produced over 500,000 vehicle units each year. Now, these two automotive giants are embarking on a journey into the realm of ammonia-powered cars. We've successfully addressed the challenge of ammonia's slow combustion and have made significant strides in applying this fuel within the passenger car industry," shared Kai Hongzhong an engineer at GAC's R&D Center, during a media interaction. The societal and commercial value of this innovation is something to eagerly anticipate. Ammonia has been proposed as an ideal fuel for ships, carriers, trucks, and trains, and GAC acknowledges its potential application in passenger vehicles. The company has successfully developed an ignition engine to experiment with this concept, capable of reducing CO2 emissions by approximately 90%, during a Tech Day presentation, GAC announced the development of a 2.0-liter engine designed to safely and efficiently burn liquid ammonia. GAC had to address the challenges of low flammability and high nitrogen oxide emissions during the engine's development. They claim that their 2.0-liter engine effectively converts liquid ammonia in a secure and efficient manner, achieving a remarkable 120 kilowatts, equivalent to 161 horsepower and reducing carbon emissions by 90%. Numerous startups have conducted successful experiments and have been actively using ammonia as a fuel. A technology company called Amogee has also been working on a novel carbon-free energy system using ammonia as a renewable fuel. Amogee achieved a significant milestone by successfully demonstrating the world's first ammonia-powered drone flight at a 5 kilowatt scale in July 2021. Building on this success, the company continued to innovate in May 2022 with the demonstration of a 100 kilowatts ammonia-powered tractor. Notably, Amogee unveiled the world's pioneering ammonia-powered semi-truck in early 2023, showcasing their ability to scale this technology to 300 kilowatts. Looking ahead, Amogee has ambitious plans for the future. By the end of 2023, the company aims to accomplish a 1MW tugboat demonstration, showcasing the potential of ammonia as a clean and sustainable fuel source in maritime applications. Man Energy Solutions, a subsidiary of the German automakers Volkswagen, has initiated an extensive testing program for its two-stroke marine ammonia engine in Copenhagen. The company places a strong emphasis on safety and sustainability in its operations. Man's ambitious goal is to have the test engine running on 100% ammonia fuel in all four cylinders by 2025. IHI Corporation is another group that has achieved remarkable success in reducing greenhouse gas emissions by over 99% during the combustion of liquid ammonia. They accomplished this feat with a 2000 kilowatt class gas turbine, effectively realizing truly CO2-free power generation. While GAC is widely recognized for producing an internal combustion engine car that operates fully on ammonia, it's important to note that they were not the first to explore this concept. A decade ago, Researchers at the Korean Institute for Energy Research developed and tested a vehicle named Amve, which ran on a blend of 70% ammonia 
and 30% gasoline. This innovative approach resulted in a 70% reduction in carbon emissions. Notably, the AMVA team had a distinct focus on the concept of a fully ammonia-fueled engine, in contrast to GAC's engine, which utilizes 100% ammonia as a fuel source. Ammonia is a chemical compound consisting of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Despite being a gas at room temperature, it has a notable advantage over hydrogen. It can be more readily liquefied, facilitating the storage and transportation of substantial energy quantities. While it is widely known for its role as a fertilizer in agriculture, its applications extend to various fields, making it a crucial component in numerous industrial processes. In the U.S. as of 2019, approximately 88% of ammonia was used as fertilizers either as its salts, solutions, or anhydrous. When applied to soil, it helps provide increased yields of crops such as maize and wheat. Ammonia finds its way into an array of products and processes. It serves as a component in paints, hair dyes, and household cleaners. It is used as a refrigerant and a solvent, and it plays a vital role as a whitening agent in the paper industry and a stabilizer in the rubber industry. Furthermore, ammonia acts as a reducing agent in metallurgy and functions as a solvent for controlling nitrogen oxides emissions from diesel engines in water-soluble forms. According to data and information from USHS 2021, ammonia stands as one of the most abundant chemicals globally, underscoring its widespread use and significance in various industries. Ammonia also plays a crucial role in rocket engines, where it is utilized as a propellant. This industry frequently employs hazardous compounds as fuels, such as hydrazine and UDMH, the latter of which is ominously referred to as devil's venom. One of the most celebrated instances of ammonia being used as a rocket propellant was in the X-15 rocket-powered aircraft. Piloted by William Knight, this aircraft achieved an astounding speed of 4,520 miles per hour, equivalent to Mach 6.7, at an altitude of 100 and 2,100 feet. Most ammonia is currently produced using the Haber-Bosch process to fix nitrogen from the air by reacting it with hydrogen at temperatures of over 450 degrees Celsius and pressures of up to 200 bar. Current plans for renewable ammonia production involve using green hydrogen, followed by the conventional Haber-Bosch process. Electrochemical synthesis is an alternative cutting-edge process to produce renewable ammonia in a single reactor with inputs of water and nitrogen. Different electrolytes can produce the synthesis at temperatures between 20 degrees Celsius and 800 degrees Celsius. Although currently at an early stage, it is expected that this process will eventually be simpler while having a similar energy consumption to the electrolyzer and Haber-Bosch process. Even though hydrogen has a tougher time when compared to the EV charging infrastructure network, it would potentially be far better to use ammonia in hydrogen production rather than use as a combustible fuel for ICE vehicles. Early in August 2018, scientists from Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization CSIRO, reported the successful development of a technology to extract hydrogen from ammonia and use it as a high-purity fuel for cars. A specific membrane is used for this. The technology is present in two demonstration fuel cell vehicles, a Hyundai Nexo and a Toyota Mirai. While GAC is committed to introducing ammonia engines to the automotive industry, they will undoubtedly encounter several challenges. One significant obstacle is the absence of a well-established fueling infrastructure for ammonia-powered vehicles. While most green ammonia vehicle projects attempt to crack ammonia into hydrogen, release nitrogen into the atmosphere, and employ it to generate electricity in fuel cells, others opt for modified combustion engines. When ammonia is used as a fuel in internal combustion engines, the chemical reaction proceeds more slowly than with traditional fuels due to its high ignition temperature and low flame velocity. This slower chemical reaction rate results in unburned ammonia being released from the exhaust. However, this challenge may also present an opportunity for the industry to develop a safe and efficient fueling system, ensuring the well-being of individuals in handling this highly toxic substance. Indeed, many ammonia startup companies continue their dedicated efforts to explore fresh opportunities and applications for this innovative and environmentally friendly energy source in support of internal combustion vehicles.